Hey, Homer, we were just doing a little storm chasing. Lenny, take us with you to find our dog. It's okay, Marge. They're professionals. What, because they rented a van and taped an antenna to the top? Shh. <laughs> Not just any tape. Duct tape. Oh, all right. But I'm coming with you to make sure no one does anything stupid. Don't worry, Marge. We bought a ton of safety gear from a highly respected storm chaser's widow. <gasps> Okay, the tornado that took your dog looked like an F3 moving westerly. I guess you do know your weather. <laughs> that means a lot coming from such an attractive woman as you. I'd say she's prettier than a surface whore. Hey! Surely you didn't misunderstand my usage of surface whore. The sublimation of ice crystals that's colder than a frost point. Confident enough to go completely downhill after marriage and know she'll still love him. I'll tell you what women really want. A man who can hold a note the longest. That is the stupidest... One, two, three, go. Home uh... back from Lenny. NATO! It's like God's vacuum cleaner. Cutting it kind of close. Not to worry, we're <laughs> Help me, God! What is it I'm paying you for every Sunday? <laughs> Can always use a good babysitter. Looks like. He was a black guy, but his voice sounded like a white guy. Hey, excuse me for wanting to fit in. And here comes Santa's little helper. <coughs> Homie, we made it. Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> You're trapped in there good. Once again, the big bag stick it to the little guy. <laughs> what are you writing? Maybe the last words I'll ever write. Oh. Lenny, you calling for help? Let them have their moment. Kent Bruckman here at Death's Revolving Door. Police have arrived on the scene after having fled the state at the first sign of the storm. The bird noticed a crane, and it got very sick on the way over. Well, our top priority is making sure that bird gets well. Hey! Hello! As for you, your only hope is this glass-cutting guy from the hardware store. You guys want to come out in a plain circle or kind of a rosette shape? Just cut the glass. Everybody wants it done yesterday. <laughs> Except for the face full of glass, when the door finally collapsed, he did a pretty good job. Found another one. It was so scary thinking something might happen to you guys. Mom, I am so glad you're alive. Were you worried about me, boy? Sure, why not? Just go into your dark rooms and shut your eyes. Tony, if we did both die, we've never named guardians. The kids could end up wards of the state. Connecticut? No, our state. Ah! Okay, you're right. It's hard to imagine anyone else bringing up our kids, but I think the choice is obvious. My dad. Oh, in worthless juice. I got it, Dad. Why I married you, I'll never know. Oh, yeah? The tornado was more of a father to me than you. Okay, how about my brother? He's rich. Hi, you reached Herb Powell. I'm poor again. D. There's really only one choice. Or should I say two identical? She's doing great. We've been tiger mothering her. Ling, music time. Ling, floor routine. More syncopated. Stick the landing. And no resenting us ever. That's some impressive flute nastics. Shut up! You can't praise her. She'll think she's smart and slack off. Then all our loving would be. Think it's time to go off family? Luann and I have gone through some rough patches, so to be seen as stable enough to raise your kids, well, it would be an honor. 
you know what else would be an honor? Having a husband who asks my opinion before inviting in three more mouths he can't feed. Hey, Luann, you always ask me what I saw in Vicky at the Walgreens. Well, I'll tell you what I saw. Anything new that wanders into this house winds up in the stew pot. I am so sorry, but we just adopted a baby. Give me back my pants. I've got to get back to my unit. Someone's cranky. All right, Marge, maybe we're being a little too choosy about who our kids spend the rest of their lives with. We'll take what we can get. Oh! <laughs> huh. Go, go! The coast is clear. Wait a minute. I live here. Oh. But we're looking at replacements for your mom and me if we should fail to die together as a family. Oh, I see. You guys are trying to find a couple of saps to take us when Dad has a coronary in the dead of night, rolls over, and crushes Mom. This is not that! And that smart alecky attitude is exactly why no one wants you. Homer, dual incomes, no kids at 2 o'clock. Keith, relax. Look at those adorable children. Hmm, I think I hear a slight accent. Mid-Atlantic. <gasps> That's where they filmed the wire! Step on it! <laughs> This is a pretty important decision. How about asking that Japanese guy who set the world record for eating hot dogs? He's like a successful version of Dad. <sighs> Maybe we should... Oh, catch your breed a lot. <laughs> ah! Oh, why would you do that to me after I thought about feeding you? <laughs> Whoa, look at that guy. It's one of the, like, awesome side effects of being a pro surfer. Whoa. Someone's smitten. Whoa, way to shrub the Krispies, babe. My wife, Portia. Another surfer. Environmental lawyer. <sighs> and in my free time, I prosecute record companies who withhold royalties from elderly blues musicians. <sighs> <gasps> cool. See you at six. So, surfing is really your job? Yeah, I earned a couple million on the tour last year. Just for standing on a thing? Hmm. Wow. Your house is perfect. No sharp corners, no unsafe balconies, a cool grandpa. I love two things, shutting up and giving a... Wow. I assumed the Jackson 5 were the only perfect family, but now I see there's another. Princeton B.A., Oxford M.A., I smell a Rhodes. No, I turned it down because Cecil Rhodes was such a racist. <gasps> hey, say, listen, Portia, how would you and Mav feel about, um, swinging? Uh, take whatever time you need. I just want to know if you'd like to be their guardians. Wow. Wow, that's quite an offer. This is so fast. It's so hard to get to know a child after just one day. I... All you need to know is I'm a politeness monster who eats please and farts thank yous, ma'am. I'm exactly the kind of kid he's pretending to be. And you sure can talk surfer talk. Okay, we'll give some serious thought to taking them. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. It's empty. You never know when you might want to mail something. It's been a wonderful day. But do you think maybe we're moving a little too quickly? I have the time. I will Google them both. It's all good, bra. Hey, where's Bart? Oh, uh, well, he wanted to be here, but I'm going to decrease the volume of my voice and mumble so you can't really understand what I'm saying, and I'll just keep doing this until the subject. 
Your father says I need to keep you lashed to the mast for five more hours. Name another. Mo. Well, I must admit it's a relief to get that taken care of. Now I can finally complete my bucket list. <laughs> Homer, Marge, we have a favor to ask. Too late! You already signed! Oh, wait, there's one more. Suck! Thought they could pick out their bedrooms. A whole weekend? I don't know. Hey, if they can watch him for the rest of their lives, they can certainly do it for a weekend. I guess. As long as we don't make it a habit. Marge, no indulgence of mine ever becomes a habit. Do you have to do that in front of people? Marge, this has been great couples time. The one thing people with kids desperately need is no kids. Well, at least we have time to get the pet's Christmas presents. I don't like the way they just ripped the paper off. Santa's little helper, my ass. <gasps> We're all caught up now. Let's go. It all makes sense now. That's why they took our kids so quick. Like all childless couples, they troll the beaches waiting for the egg layers to wander off from their young. She's gonna raise three kids without wrecking that perfect figure. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. Don't worry, terrible thoughts. What if they are better for the kids than us? Marge, let me set your mind straight about something. That spectacular young couple is definitely better for the kids. But those kids are ours because we made them by accident. And now we're going to take them back because we love them. Especially now that we've had a little time apart from them. Homer, Marge, I understand your anger, but your kids are more awesome than the brakes at Waimea. Those better be good brakes. Honestly, we fell in love with them, and it just seemed like you guys didn't really want them. Sure, you wanted the fun parts, but do you want to go to their Little League games and recitals? We totally have. Like clockwork. Well, I'm glad someone's unstoppable. Well, I'm afraid that we don't want to be with anyone but Mom and whoever she chooses to be with. Portia, you're the woman I dream of becoming, but Mom is my mom. Fine, but you're leaving a gap in our lives that can only be filled by foreign travel, sleeping late, and gourmet food. You guys lock up. We're going to Bali. Ugh, again. We've won! Woohoo. Living. If you call this living. Oh, you little dick! Ah! Dick! Ah! I do call this living! Living ah! the way kids in ah! India can only dream of! There is nothing like your biological family. Ah! I forget.